like Try It Tuesday. I'm going to try my hand. i got to shape my hat a little bit, so I'm going to try my hand at being a hatter over here at Herb's Hat Shop. For this noggin? Yes, it's 23 and a half. About a 7 and 3 eighths. So remember that, I'm a long oval. Yes. You could time intelligence, right? Yeah. Big, yeah, big got head it. like that. Okay. Got that that's, coming, that's coming from the expert. <laughs> okay. So I noticed, you know, all these tools around here and the blocks and everything. Mm -hmm. um, how old are these? How many hats do uh, you think have been oh, on these things? I could never tell you that. It's a lot. And this is where the term blocking a hat mm -hmm. comes to be because it's, it's a, a, block a block of wood. Make it smooth. Mm -hmm. And obviously, this is not something you learn out of a book. You just got to oh, do no, it and feel the, hand, feel the felt. Yes. And you got to hand steam it. Mm -hmm. So even the style, even though the style may look good, a George Strait style on somebody, yeah, but there are the, the, the little nuances to mm -hmm. it have to yeah. be adjusted for the trip. Right, trend. okay. So this is how you check it out. Make sure it's straight right here. Okay. And then you turn it around. And put it on backwards. backwards to make, make sure, sure you get there. right. And a hat is is pretty resilient. I mean, you can size them, you can make them yeah, smaller, you can make them larger, mm -hmm. change the shape. If you get tired of shape after a while, right. you can next year have a completely it's different completely, hat, basically. Right. And same color, but a different hat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so I start ironing here. Uh, let's get oh, it wet again. See, see me first? Watch, watch your hands. Just like ironing a shirt. Just right? iron our shirt. Flip your hat over. Flip it and iron this side. So this is kind of getting a clean slate. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You start from scratch all the time. You mm -hmm. don't try and right. shape a hat that's sorry shaped. You yes. Just yeah. Go from ground zero. So I've got this. I don't, I want it turned up a little bit. Going for a George Strait style, you mm -hmm. say, which means turned up in a little bit of a square, kind of a crease right in there. So I want to go about here, maybe. Yeah. You said because of the shape of my it's face, right. I gotta. What do you do, like? Go go with the cheekbones or something? I usually go on the outer side of the eye. Okay, like so that. about right in there. Yeah. You're good. Good? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I go like this and mm -hmm. what, put my thumbs here? Yes, sir. And just and start some, bending upward? Bending upwards a little bit. And the nice thing is, it, it's kind of forgiving. Mm -hmm. If you mess up, you go, oh, yeah. I messed up. Re steam it, re iron it, exactly. start over again. So, exactly. Okay, so. You can do anything to felt that you can't do with straws. Like this? Yeah. Yeah. And, and just kind of hold it in place? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just, just like this. Smooth it out towards the back. So what I do is check it out by putting my thumb right here. Mm hmm to the crown to make sure we got enough on this side and enough on that side. Okay. So you do, you did it perfect. Oh. The more, more you do, the more you get better you can, at it. You can do it with your uh -huh. eyes closed, basically. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> huh, I'll be darned. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do, you, what do you think? It looks good. Yeah, it's the George Street look. That's as far as it goes. Mm, not bad. Uh, I'm thinking my head shaped up too. Yeah, probably fit better. And the George Strait was because of the little creases right there in front. That's what makes it. Okay. Because the style of hat, and Kay Maynard it can talk more about Welcome. that. Welcome. Thank it you. It was a, the basic hat is a cattleman. Mm -hmm. It is. It's called a cattleman crease, and okay. George Strait made that famous, and so. Got to love um, George Strait. Yeah, he has a hat named after him, <laughs> so, but it's a wonderful, very popular style. Most people have a hat named after him, too. It's well. very, very George famous. George Strait so. to have that. And there's a million different hats, and the quality of hats, yes. too. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, hats nice. are. Um, rated their quality is on the X's that they, um, and it just really means um, the percent of felt fur that's in each hat. So and that's what those X's that's mean. That's what then. the X's okay. mean. Yes. And different companies, it's a proprietary secret. So no one actually knows exactly. Um, what it exactly how much for felt is in the 10x but John Stetson in the late 1800s invented this system mainly just so customers could know um, the quality of their hat and be very comfortable knowing while they're purchasing a hat that's the quality that they're purchasing. And you said most of this felt is mm -hmm. it's beaver pelt along with mm -hmm. Just different things. I mean, some could, sometimes some, wool. something else. Some things could be wool, like that hat is a mostly wool blend hat. That's okay, a 4X you can kinda, hat. Kind of feel you it. Can tell. And yours seems like it has a little bit more. Yes. Yeah, so this <laughs> is a 20X hat. It's called a Grizzly, and um, it's just something fun that they do um, that. before it gets hand sanded more down to this more finished look. And so. you said some are even mixed with mink. Yes. Wow. And that is that hat right there. Ooh. That is an American hat company, so pick it up. You and gotta it, see that. So, that, so and, that is. And it feels like it too. Um, Tell us again where you're located. On Rigsby Road, on 4922 Rigsby okay. Road. So this is a Thousand X American hat in pecan. Oh, that's gonna fit. We'll in, let you so. try yeah. that on while we, <laughs> we gotta go to break Herb, now. Herb's hat shop over there. Hat shop over there. Kate, thank you very thank, much. Thank you so, so 